Hi everyone, it's Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and this is the TP-Link Archer D20 Wi-Fi AC dual band router. Let's have a look. So the Archer D20 from TP-Link comes with pretty much every connectivity option. It is a ADSL 2 plus router, so you can use it as a modem for your landline connections. You can also use it with your WAN connection, a direct fiber cable and your simultaneous dual band support. So you get 2.4 gigahertz with 300 megabits per second speed and at 5 gigahertz you get 433 megabits per second. So let's have a look at what we get inside the box. So that is everything. First of all, you have your quick installation guide, which guides you through the setup process. Again, that's something useful if you are doing this yourself. Next up, you have the router itself. It's black in color, very glossy. And you have your adapter right there. It's a wall port adapter. You have two RJ11 cables to connect your phone line through the ADSL splitter and ethernet cable right there as well. It's a bit short, but it gets the job done. So that's everything you get inside the box. Now I've been using this router for two odd weeks now. It gets scratched pretty easily and is a bit fingerprint magnet at the top too. But again, you won't be touching your router that often. It's easy enough to clean. Now on the sides you can see these cool vents to allow air in. And it remains pretty much cool throughout the operation. I never notice any heating or anything like that. It works out very fine. It's quite efficient too. And you have two antennas here. So it's a dual antenna setup too. And you can move these antennas any way around. Now if you come to the back, you have your mounting points right there. You can mount it over a wall and here are the different ports. First of all, you have the ADSL RJ11 jack. You have a USB port which you can use for connecting storage devices to use as a file server or a printer. You have a Wi-Fi on off switch, very useful stuff. WPS reset switch right there and you have three LAN ports and the fourth one is a LAN or a WAN port. So if you're using a fiber connection, you would put into that power switch and the power connector. And these are the status LEDs which glow in white. They're actually in the front of the router. Now let's set up this router. So first of all, you need to set up your password. After that, your time zone, then select the kind of connection that you have. You can get all this information from your network provider. Then you can set up both the wireless bands. So you can see right there, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. If you are on a fiber connection or an ethernet connection, you would need to change the operation mode to wireless router. Only then this would work. You can do that after setting up the device and you can see that we are now connected. Now, one of the best things about this is you can use this as a file server as we are doing right now. Great speeds, the extra bandwidth definitely helps in that aspect. And I'm playing that video right from the storage, which is connected to the router itself. Then you have parental controls available too. You can block particular words, content, you have bandwidth control available again and you can also access devices based on their MAC addresses. Now, after the setup, you'll be easily able to connect through either of the wireless networks on your device. They work simultaneously. And even when I went outside, it's about a floor down. You can see that the network reception was pretty good. Network speeds again were excellent. We got the complete throughput that we have. We have a 10 Mbps connection and we were able to get that with both of the bands. There was no throttling here. So overall, in the two weeks that I've spent with this router actually works out quite well. I haven't tested the DSL part because I don't have a DSL connection, but over a fiber connection, it works great. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of this review. The Archer D20 from TP-Link performs quite well. It has great performance, great throughput, and good range as well over both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless bands. And even on a wired connection, it performs great. I really like the functionality of using this as a file server or a print server. And there's a lot you can do with the interface and it's pretty easy to set up. So if you were looking for a Wi-Fi AC router or for that matter, an ADSL plus router as well, this would be worth a look when it becomes available. We'll be back with more. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this or any other device, do mention those in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.